So the other day, I was just chilling out, you know, watching some Lana Rhodes, and the homie, Nick Nocturnal from the famous band Termina, hit me up and said, yo, dude, you should cover this new deathcore track that we just recorded. <laughs> Now me, I never played deathcore, but you know I'm down for a challenge. Of course, of course, of course! The last time I did a challenge like this, I said this. And in heavy metal music, we need double bass pedals. Now, I know that you don't necessarily have to use a double pedal for metal music or deathcore, but I feel like it would make things a bit more interesting if you were able to see, you know, my, my newness and my mistakes. Something about the internet and everybody wanting to see you suffer. So now, we're gonna go to the music store and make my very first purchase towards a double bass pedal. Let's go. Bob. All right, we made it. Going into the store. Get a double bass pedal. Yeah. I'm gonna get a double bass pedal. And we have the DW that's up here. The w, DW. How much is that? It's gonna be a little bit more expensive than the phone. Well, your boy is broke, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna need me the crisp, the, the the crispiest, cheapest one, you know. Okay. But not. Uh, is this uh, the is this the one? Yeah, that's the phone. What do you guys think? This feels good. Yeah, it, it's really smooth. It's chain action instead of being like a trigger pad or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. And we're back. So I'm gonna set this up now. And um, as I'm setting up, I'll tell you a little uh, something that happened to me the other day. So the other day, I was giving a lesson to a 15 year old metalhead. He was a huge metalhead. He came to me because he wanted to learn how to play jazz. I thought that was really cool of him to you know, explore outside of his normal genre of music. But after the lesson, I decided to ask him for some advice on metal. He taught me the way of the blast beat. So apparently, and I know a lot of you metalheads are gonna cringe at this part. It's okay, I've, I've accepted it. You gotta put your stick on the snare drum like this. But if you do it really fast and hard, you get a, a, a bounce. can't do it. But that's only one part. Your feet are supposed to be um, doubling that, I guess. So. Ooh. I think the hardest part about metal for me is just keeping my feet even. And the 15 year old actually taught me tips on how to, you know, improve that, like little exercises. And I'm trying to remember what exactly he said, but I think it was something along the lines of It's so weird from going to this. To stuff like this. All right, so after about an hour or so of shedding my double bass chops, I still suck. But I'm gonna play Nick's deathcore track anyways. Mistakes and all. Here's how a jazz drummer like myself might approach a tune like this. I'm sorry. Oh, and by the way, this song is called Desolate Spectre by Nick's band Termina, and I really suggest that you check out the original song and the music video. If not, you need to grow up. <laughs> 